In this video, I'll show you how to find the general term of a binomial expansion. Question 1 reads, find the eighth term of the expression 3a plus b to the power of 5 all raised to 11. To do this question, we'll need to know the following formula, which tells us the general term in the expansion of a binomial a plus b to the power of n. Let's start by defining two very important things. r, in our case, will be 8. That's the term we're looking for n is equal to 11. In addition to that, you need to define both your a and your b term as well. Your a term will be 3a, and your b term will be b to the power of 5. Next, we'll substitute all of these into this formula, where we end up with n factorial, which represents 11 over r minus 1, 8 minus 1, factorial, bracket 11 minus 8 plus 1 factorial. And this part will be 3a raised to the power of 11 minus 8 plus 1 and b to the power of 5 raised to the power of 8 minus 1 which is 7. Let's go ahead and simplify this expression. If we simplify it, we end up with 11 factorial over 7 factorial times 11 minus 8, which is 3, plus 1, 4 factorial. We'll reduce this down in the next step. Over here we have 3a to the power of 11 minus 8 plus 1, so that's 4. And over here we have b to the power of 5 raised to the power of 7. To evaluate this part, I'll use my calculator. 11 factorial divided by 7 factorial times 4 factorial. This gives me 330. 3 to the power of 4 is 81. a to the power of 4 is a to the power of 4. And b to the power of 5 raised to 7 is b to the power of 35. This number multiplied to 81 gives us 26,730. 26,730 a to the power of 4, b to the power of 35. That represents our final answer. Let's move on to question 2. In question 2, they ask us to find the 11th term of this binomial. Here, our r is equal to 11, n is equal to 15, a is equal to x, and b is equal to negative 2 square root of y. Let's substitute these values into this formula once again. We have 15 factorial over 11 minus 1, which is 10, and 15 minus 11 is 4, plus 1 is 5. And this gets multiplied to a to the power of n minus r plus 4. So we have x to the power of 15 minus 11. 4 plus 1 is 5. And b is negative 2 times the square root of y to the power of r minus 1, which is 10. Let's use our calculator to evaluate this part. 15, and that's factorial divided by 10 factorial times 5 factorial. This gives us 3,003. 3,003 x to the power of 5. This part, we have negative 2 to the power of 10 gives us 1024. And y square root is y to the power of half times 10 is y to the power of 5. Therefore, our final answer is this number times that number, giving us 3,075,072. x, y to the power of 5. And there you have it. Two examples on how to find the general term of a binomial expansion.